So hello people, how you going today? And today I've some banknotes from Zare. And if you don't know where Zare is, Zare is in Central Africa and is currently called the Democratic Republic of Congo. And the reason why the country is called Zare is because of this guy, Mobuto Sesiseko. Actually his name is longer but I'm not going to say it. And this is this guy on the banknote. And he was dictator of uh, Zare from 1967 to 1997 when he was overthrown by uh, Laurent Kabila and the current president Joseph Kabila is his son so here I have uh, 5, 10 and 50 Zares let's see if we can get the whole banknote in the picture so this is it um, the first thing you'll notice is that I have two different colours so a green and a blue one. So in 1979, there was a color change between these two denominations and the green become blue and the blue one become green. But I do not actually have a green 10 there note and they're actually not that hard to get. So why would they have changed the color? Well, two recent examples of countries, or one, one or two, yeah, two. So, the, oh, no. two recent examples of countries that changed their color banknotes is Sudan in 2011. And that is because South Sudan started to issue their own currency and they wanted to prevent the currency from the South going north into Sudan. So they changed the color of the currency. And the second one is um, Ethiopia in 1997 when Eritrea issued their own currency. They changed the colours to do exactly the same to prevent the currency from Eritrea going into Ethiopia. So I think that this is based on a similar concept in that uh, they wanted a probably a currency confiscation so to change the currencies so you would have had to go onto a bank to change the currency over they would know who you are you would have ID and if you have a uh, too much currency they would just confiscate it yay isn't that a good idea anyway that was probably getting a bit off topic so the five Zares, which was actually quite a lot of money in the 1970s. So it has a, looks like a leopard, a coat of arms, the watermark. It actually has a micro print here. It uh, has a watermark of Mobutu Sesiseko. And let's have a look. Uh, so can you just see? Uh, it says Banku du Zare. Okay, that's what the security thread actually says. And the reverse has the Inga first hydroelectric dam. And it also has a traditional statue. But I'm not too sure what culture that is because it's actually hard to get information on these banknotes. The uh, central bank currently has no information on any banknotes really. And down the bottom we have uh, who printed it Guy Schick or whatever Devrient in Germany Munich and um, has some French on here so all these banknotes have French even though the Belgian Congo used uh, French and Dutch on their banknotes and coins uh, the blue banknote has uh, the same features just in a blue coloration actually and this design around the statue actually looks a lot better in blue than it does in green and blue is one of those pretty attractive colors to use as a banknote as you can see let's have a look same design different color so which one would you prefer that one or that one my, me and myself, I prefer blue. 
Ah, the Tenzers. As you can see, dictators are pretty full of themselves and they just think they're so special. So they put themselves on banknotes. Um, not all dictators do. Uh, some of them do not. So this has basically the same features. There's a, what did I say, a leopard there. Uh, I was going to say Jaguar, but they live in the Americas. And on the back, it has a, oh look, pinholes. That's a pity. This uh, would reduce the uh, value of this banknote, but it's a nice, beautiful banknote anyway. So we have the uh, flame, which is actually on the flag of Zare. And it's actually quite a beautiful type of flame. Yeah, makes it look bright and attractive. And the last banknote, which was the highest one, it was issued in 1980, so this date here. And it's 50s as it's quite a large banknote. Uh, I don't have any rulers, but here I have a oh, current Z20. Congo 20 francs and it's actually quite larger so for a high denomination banknote being large at this time period is not really unusual Australian 50 dollar banknotes roughly nearly this size as well and it has a coat of arms it has a uh, the leopard as my Buddha says he said cool and the security features. Does it have anything around there? No. Oh, for, it looks like that might be microprinting, but I can't tell. Might not be. Anyway, this has a security thread and a watermark, like the other banknotes. On the reverse, this one just has the coat of arms. Okay. So this banknote is actually in a uh, low grade, but getting these, getting this denomination in high grade, even uncirculated, um, yeah, costs a lot of money. So this denomination of 50 zares actually costs a lot more than the 5, 10 zares. And the the other two banknotes I need to get in this series is the 50 Makuta and the 1 Zer. But I'll get those and when I do, I will show you. So if you are after this series, uh, try and get, well, if you don't have much money, getting a banknote of 50 Zers of this quality is probably uh, okay as a gap filler for your collection. For when you actually do have enough money to get a better quality banknote. So to get uncirculated, you're probably looking at uh, between fifty and a hundred dollars for this denomination. They're just really not common. And the main reason probably why is that because it's such a high valued banknote and it was uh, had a pretty low print for the population and because it's high denomination most of the population would not have kept this as a, a collector's item themselves as you know most people actually don't collect banknotes and coins so why would they do that so in there when the majority of population live in poverty so banknotes are there beautiful beautiful banknotes I will encourage you to collect these uh, banknotes are there because there's just a pretty fascinating country anyway have a beautiful banknote collecting time if you like Zare banknotes please like this video uh, I have other videos on my channel if you'd like to watch and learn about banknotes and coins from around the world and have an all awesome time bye